Back in September, I found this picture of Hyun Min Son, and something on the lower part of his body caught my attention. Oh, mine oh. is wrong. No, not his foot boots, mm. or the socks he was wearing. After months of searching, I finally found them. So these are the Wee Foot Tech Nabi Anti Slip Socks. Let's talk about them. See? So starting off with the price, they cost around $24 or £23. It depends where you look. Now, I would leave a link in the description, but these guys aren't paying me, so I'm not going to. So if you're interested in these socks, in the end, just Google them and they'll probably just come up anyway. Now, onto the specs of the sock. Now, Wee Foot have made very bold claims about the sock. They've said that this socks improve your comfort by 62% and improve grip by 59%. And it's all to do with how the socks are constructed. Now in terms of tech, these are probably one of the most high tech socks or grip socks I've ever used. So let's start with the most important part of the socks, the grip elements. So unlike a lot of grip socks, these actually have grips on the inside and the outside of the sock. And they are asymmetrically layered, so they're a bit different. So if you look on the inside, they're a bit more flat, if this will focus. And then if you look on the outside, you can see there's this kind of like, um, if this will focus as well, there you go. Then you will see that it's a bit more kind of like a imprinted pattern on them. Now the grip elements, they're not like the kind of usual rubbery or suede ones you get. These are actually made from polyurethane. And we thought have said that the grips are inspired by the suction cups of an octopus. And because of that, they'll work whether your feet are dry or wet. Now, apart from all the high techy stuff is your kind of usual kind of sports sock in terms of you get your art supports in the middle, Interestingly enough, they don't have any grips on the arch. I guess that's for like more art support and like less chance of getting blisters in your arch area. Um, your usual kind of compression. I, interestingly enough, it's like a diamond kind of compression here. Um, I don't know why that is. I guess maybe that's another thing in terms of like surface area, but who knows? Actually, interestingly enough, the actual bottom of the sock is a lot thicker. And I think that's just for comfort purposes. And again, you have your kind of reinforced kind of toe area because with a lot of kind of grip socks, they don't last too long because, you know, they get really thin in the kind of toe area. A lot of my previous grip socks, they'll like rip here and I have to sew them up just to get a few more uses out of them. Another thing that should be added is the durability of the socks. It actually comes on the actual website marketing for the socks themselves. So if you are a footballer who trains pretty much every other day, we thought have said these socks will last you a month. If you're a regular person who plays maybe casually or maybe at least twice a week, I play twice a week max, these will last you considerably longer. One thing I really like about the socks is when you look like the inside and the outside in terms of like the toe area is that they've got a kind of bigger area for the toe from on the inside so it kind of you know your whole toe is your whole big toe should I say is like covered by the grip as opposed to on the outside where it's just like the three kind of pads. When it comes to comfort these socks are pretty much next level. Like I said before, the bottom of the socks are a bit thicker than the rest of the sock and because of this it almost feels like you're walking on clouds and when you have your boots on it almost feels like you're wearing slippers. Now unlike some other grip socks, you actually won't feel the grip pads when you're wearing the boots so there's no pressure from them, so which also adds to the comfort. Next is the try-on test. One of the major things that people complain about which often puts them on getting a pair of grip socks is that they say it makes putting on their boots much much harder. Personally, I've never had a real issue and I've been wearing grip socks non-stop to play football since around 2015. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to try and two pairs of football boots, one mid-cut and one low-cut just to show you if I have any difficulty when putting these boots on with these socks. Now, I may not look it because of my awkwardness, but I didn't really have any noticeable difficulty with putting on these boots with these socks on. Now for the insole slide test. Since I can't put a camera inside my boots, the next best thing to do to show you the performance of the grip of the socks is to slide around on some insoles. However, do take this test with a pinch of salt as it's not the most scientific or accurate test in the world. So on one foot I've got a regular football sock and on the other I've got the Wii Foot grip sock. And as you can see the grip on the Wii Foot is over 9,000 times better than that of a regular football sock. Now on to performance. Performance encompasses how well the socks perform as a whole. So that would be comfort, lockdown, stability and underfoot traction all combined into one. As well as wearing the socks for matches and training sessions I did some drills which I feel would isolate some of these aspects. Again, comfort while playing these socks is a joke. It makes a pair of boots feel like you're wearing slippers. Unlike other grip socks, you don't feel the pressure of the grip elements while wearing them. Lockdown wise, again, these socks are incredible. It makes it feel like the inside of your boots is glued to my foot, which is what I expect from a pair of grip socks. There's also zero heel slippage or rollover. I also felt extremely stable when changing direction sharply, dribbling and shooting. You can really feel the underfoot traction, especially when you're planting your foot. 
When you wear a normal pair of socks, sometimes your momentum can cause rollover, which unstabilizes you, so your body uses more energy trying to restabilize before the next movement. These socks completely eradicate that feeling in such a way that it kind of psychologically makes you feel more confident because your movements feel more meaningful and less energy is spent stabilizing yourself. Now for the final verdict on the Wii Foot Technabi Anti-Slip Grip Socks. Now I've been using grip socks since say around 2015 and I've used quite a few, well not a few, quite a lot of grip socks in my time and by a distance these are the best grip socks I have ever used hands down. In terms of performance of the grips, lockdown, comfort this is the entire package rolled into one at a very reasonable price my the only downfall i would say would maybe be the durability but i don't play that often so i think that will last me long enough or to a satisfactory amount at least now the reason why these probably aren't as marketed as much as other brands or they're actually quite hard to find is because they are a korean company and they don't really necessarily market to overseas or maybe that's why him is the only one that you've i've actually only seen where these grips are but like if this was produced anywhere in europe these would be selling for at least 60 pounds or something like that because these are ridiculously good ridiculously good and like one of my favorite things about these grip socks is like you can actually feel them working you know when you're playing you don't necessarily feel like the grip elements but like when you've making a sudden change of direction and where your foot would usually roll over or slip a bit you actually can feel that you, the socks are actually working harder to keep your foot in place as well maybe figuratively but like that's how it almost feels in your foot now how they say they make the socks 62 percent more comfortable or 59 percent more grippier i don't know how they've quantified that necessarily but in terms of increasing the amount of comfort and grip as opposed to like a other grip sock that i've used before they definitely perform better 150 percent in terms of the strength of the grips it's comparable to a true sock but in terms of comfort i don't think anything necessarily comes close these are like far and wide the best grip socks i've ever used and that's pretty much it for the video guys hopefully you enjoyed if you thought it was sublime like the video if it's apart still like the video comment down below which grip sock you'd like me to review next and like i always say at the end of the videos my name is sub this has been substance football thank you for watching peace out